Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's good? I've had this requested uh, several times, I don't know, over a long period of time from uh, people commenting wanted to see it. So I did go ahead and test this out several days ago. As you can see, the units I brought in is pretty much the units that have the ability to stack attack or defense. Um, majority or mainly attack in this case. So. We're on the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Broly Dokkan event. As you know, in the second stage, the Super Saiyan Broly pretty much is invincible in, in the big picture of things. But if you look at it in the finer details, uh, this Broly possesses 100 million health and a massive damage reduction of 90%. So that's why he seems pretty much invincible and pretty much why it, it seems so difficult to reduce his HP. But we're going to counter all that by bringing in, like I said, a bunch of units that have the ability to stack attack or uh, basically the Kaioken mechanic where you continuously raise the attack stats. Um, I figured it'd be a fun way to do it versus bringing in units that reduce uh, defense. I, I think this will be more fun because you're literally just going to be seeing all these units jacked up on Super Saiyan steroids, so to speak. So it'll be, it'll be a fun little experiment. And as always, with these Kaioken Mechanic or Stack Effect showcases or testing, you're going to see the progression. So right now, you're pretty much seeing uh, base stats attacks or closer to base, base stat attack stats. And then over time, you're going to see the steady, gradual increase of overall attack stats. And by the end of the video, you're going to be seeing some pretty, pretty crazy figures, to say the least. So that's pretty much the uh, format. And again, 100 million health and 90% damage reduction that is is pretty uh, a pretty big obstacle to get over but um, you know it, it can certainly be done and you're gonna see as to how that's gonna be done in, in this video so as you can see Super Saiyan Trunks uh, the LR Vegeta Blue Ultimate Gohan uh, the Super Saiyan God Vegeta and the Future Gohan all are units that have the ability to increase attack uh, for every super attack so it depends if it's you know, raise attack or great, greatly raise attack in some cases. So it really does depend on the unit in terms of how much they actually fluctuate in their attack stats. But um, the other thing I was going to note was if I can even remember the damn thing. Yeah, so back to the point. I mean, this is going to be in the Super Saiyan uh, or Transforming Trunks uh, leaders where it's providing uh, you know the the max boost with the future saga categories but also uh, super type units also get 120 percent boost so i wanted to include as many units that have the ability to increase attack that you know link up relatively well together so that's that's why i went with this format and it works out pretty well uh super saiyan god vegeta does have the ability to increase attack uh well as a greatly raise attack uh with the super attack so you do see uh uh, a very very high increase in his overall stats um, even though he's only getting the 120 percent um, increase you'll also see uh, future gohan has the ability to greatly raise attack as well i think um, if i remember correctly the other units are mostly raise attack and defense or just raise attack so um, the 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 increases aren't going to be as high but at the same time over the course of a, a ton of turns you're gonna see everybody pretty much fluctuate I mean you can see right now 5.3 million with the uh, transforming the trucks and then you'll see future Gohan who originally only has extreme damage multiplier you'll see him with uh, crazy attack stats as well so about 4.2 million as of right now and if you look toward the top you can see Broly's HP there's barely a dent put in on him so there's there's definitely a long ways to go but you know, again, it's, it's pretty fun watching this and, and just, I don't know, just testing this out. For me, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun because uh, you're able to see very high attack stats on units you never would normally see. Like, the best example is probably Future Gohan. Again, he has extreme damage as the multiplier for the super attack. And um, yeah, his stats aren't that you know high. It's 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 decent, but it's not really crazy like LRs or anything. So 
the fact that you're able to see 5.7 you know million uh, attack stats before the super attack it's 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 uh you know, it's pretty nice to see overall, and then transforming trunks, obviously, attack and defense increases over time with every super attack, so, you know, it, it, I don't know, for me, it's just enjoyable seeing this, and like I said, I could have brought in some units that um, had the ability to greatly reduce enemies' defense and stuff like that, but, you know, might as well just, just bring in um, all the units that have the ability to raise attack and just kind of do a attack versus defensive tank type of format. I figured that probably be i don't know in my opinion the most fa most fun way to do it so i don't know where we are with the broly hp uh let's see we'll see here in a second yeah so we're we're we shed off pretty much close to 90 percent at this point so um it did take a long time i'm not gonna lie it, it really took a long time but you know, you, you can even see with the actual damage that Broly takes, it's a lot higher than what it was at the initial parts of the battle. I think you were lucky to get like, what, maybe 40,000 or something like that. But even by getting the attack stats as high as, as we did, um, the overall damage, you know, Broly takes is still marginal. That's because of, again, the 90% damage reduction that he's you know got and then uh, on top of that he has a hundred million in, in health so that definitely drags out the process a little bit longer again probably could have went with a combination of um, attack stats increase over time and then like some units that uh, greatly reduce attack you know that could have probably made things a little bit quicker potentially but um, I don't know I'm kind of a knucklehead and, and stubborn at times so I just went ahead and decided to just do it all on, on units that have the ability to increase their um, overall attack based on super attack. So that's that's pretty much the formula I went with. And honestly, I, I think some of you guys actually enjoy the uh, Kaioken mechanic testing videos anyway. So why not bring in as many units as you can um, in this type of setting? So I'm not sure how much longer we've got, 6.1 million with Trunks coming up and then Future Gohan and Ultimate Gohan should be able to provide some pretty good <clears throat> pretty good damage potential as well. Um, Broly's HP is pretty much nullified at this point, I mean you, you're pretty much at zero at this at this point in time, so yeah we should be, uh, should be able to elim eliminate him um, pretty soon. So 2 million LR Vegeta Blue, 2.8 million Super Saiyan God Vegeta, 1.7 with the transforming trunks. That fluctuates to 3.1 million and then 4 million for Vegeta and then 2.6 million for trunks. So those are definitely some pretty pretty nice figures to, to look at. 3.2 million with the normal attack as well. So yeah, it does make a difference uh, stacking these um, you know attack increases over time. Now you are restricted to 99 turns. Uh, just just a heads up for those that are, you know, interested in testing this out because it, this can be easily replicated. You just have to have the uh, the time and patience for it. All right, so there you have it. Broly is pretty much uh, KO'd and eliminated, pretty much killed off. So it's definitely uh, possible to do that. It just takes a lot of time, uh, depending on how you go about it. You can either you know, continue to stack attack like I did here, or uh, bring in some units that <clears throat> had the ability to, uh, you know, reduce the uh, enemy's defense. You know, those are, you know, certainly ways to do it. Because as far as I know, uh, these units don't have any immunity toward um, any of the uh, status effects. So you can certainly apply a different variety of, of different status effects to, um, you know, help your cause out, I guess. So 3.8 million right there against Paragus. Um, he didn't stand a chance, honestly. So we'll move on to the other two stages coming up just to see how much in damage we can actually apply. So, you know, it doesn't really matter who who's attacking. I mean, at this point, it should be close to a one-shot kill anyway on every single version of this unit. But in this case, we'll uh, we'll give it to um, LR Vegeta Blue. I should have done the uh, 18 key super just to, you know, make it visually visually nice but 5.4 million in uh, damage against the physical type and then we'll move on to the tech super saiyan 3 broly and uh, see what see what happens here all 
Honestly, I should have, uh, since we're pretty much at the end here, I should have transformed the Trunks unit and, uh, you know, gotten the additional 30% for the key collected, but this was after, I don't know how long of, of, you know, testing, so, you know, my mind wasn't as sharp as it should be, so, you know, uh, my mistake on that one, but I think we're still good here. So 3.5 million, uh, one-shot kill against Tech Broly, so... Again, you do have the ability, uh, you can certainly defeat the Invincible Broly in this event, but that's pretty much the summary of that. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. As always, I do appreciate you watching, and definitely stay tuned for the next video coming up shortly. Alright, peace out.